Christmas and how you're doing. Yeah. Now, first I'd like to start off by saying, we condemn Israel, do we? Yes. Now, this week, the death toll in Israel and Palestine has passed 8,000. 8,000, imagine that with your kids, your family, your friends. Now, there are people in Palestine that are worried sick. They don't know if they're gonna wake up. They don't know if they're gonna wake up with the blood on their hands. Now, Rishi Sunak says that they, the UK stands with Israel. That's not the case, right? No. Oh. The UK does not stand with Israel. The UK stands with Palestine. So I'd like to point out the facts. 3,324 that were killed were children. 2,602 were women. 2,069 were men. And yet you have big world leaders not calling for a ceasefire. Now I'd like to say that Richie Sunak keeps saying Israel has the right to defend itself. But ask yourself this, what are they defending the force from? Palestine has no military, they have no air force, they have no troops. So you ask yourself, what are they defending themselves from? Hamas is not in the West Bank. Hospitals are being targeted. Hospitals are where thousands of families, thousands of children are being kept safe. But safe is not an option no more. Safe, that's, that's far from the truth now. That's being bumped countless times. People are now fleeing hospitals. They have nowhere else to go. Do we condemn this, yes or no? Yes! Also, I'd like to point out that there was a kid, a little baby, one day old baby, that was killed literally like two days ago. And now, his birth certificate was issued after his death certificate. One day old baby, man. I mean, can, can you imagine the, the, what his family had to go through to bury a baby that was born yesterday? We, do we condemn this, yes or no? Yes! Free, free! Palestine! Free, free! Palestine! Free, free! Palestine! One, two, three, four! Occupation, no! Occupation! 